Hi there everyone, welcome back. So famous YouTuber Jenna Marbles is quitting YouTube and we're going to go over this and it's just a crazy publicity stunt in my mind from her. YouTube influencer Jenna Marbles quits her channel after blackface blacklash. And that's right, Jenna Marbles has over 20 million subscribers. She posted this video saying a message and it's already got over 9.3 million views. The first four minutes of Jenna Marbles' video, the message is basically her talking about herself and saying that she's apologizing and blah 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 and just just a bunch of garbage that you don't even want to hear. Jenna Marbles basically did this video back in the day doing blackface and she's going to show it and then apologize for it. This is private. It's like this. But she didn't even delete it. She set these videos to private, so she still has them. I mean, she wants to keep the views or whatever she gained from it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And then you apologize afterwards. It just, it does, your apology just isn't valid in my, in my mind. I just want to tell you that it was not my intention to do blackface. This is the end of the video where I took my wig off. I, I don't know how else to say this. Ah, so you're going to show a video, apologize for doing blackface, but then you're going to explain afterwards that you weren't actually indeed doing blackface, so it it's justified? Like, what the frick? But it doesn't matter, because all that matters is that people were offended, and it hurt them, and for that, I am so unbelievably sorry. I'm so sorry, but I still made this video and still showed it, and I still have it private and didn't even bother deleting it, and I'm just making this apology video just to basically gain more, like, clout and, like, get my name out there, because her name now is blown up everywhere. Like, she was famous before, but now even, like, it's just everywhere, and the crazy, crazy thing about this is that her video, she says that she's not trying to make any money, but she used to have merchandise, as you can see here online, and now even PewDiePie backs Jenna Mar says that she was bullied into quitting YouTube because of the blackface blacklash. And it's definitely a publicity stunt because now this video's got over 9 million views which equals to a lot of money. And the thing is is that the video is Creative Commons Attribution License so it's reused allowed. You can actually take and repost her video which a lot of YouTubers don't allow. And if you actually look, she says she says she's quitting YouTube but if you look on her channel she still has all her videos still on there so this is just a way for people to talk about her get her name out there and it's definitely working freaking pewdiepie the king of youtube even talked about her got her name out there and you really think she's gonna quit youtube do you honestly think that she's gonna quit she posts a video apologizing and saying that she's quitting but it's still up there and she hasn't deleted her channel. She hasn't deleted any of her videos. The videos that were racist or controversial, she just turned into private. Uh, she did make these videos back in the day. And yeah, people do learn from their mistakes and people do make mistakes in the past. But this just seems like it's just a publicity stunt. Uh, it seems like not, not too many people even called her out on this. Uh, she actually realized it was her own fault. So she started privating her videos and then she, people started being like, hey, why are you privating these? And then she was like, oh, and then she made this video apologizing and then she saying that she's been bullied into quitting YouTube and all this stuff and it's just a major publicity stunt I don't think she's gonna quit YouTube she's not gonna delete anything she's definitely gonna stay back she's she's and even if she did she's made like so much money and a living off of YouTube that she's set for life so like yeah no she's a narcissist all of these youtubers want the fame and even if they're not making the money they're going to be out there definitely just trying to get, get their name out there even more and just be in their online light and that's this is what it's all about and that's what she's doing and that's just, it's crazy she's got so many people convinced that she's actually sorry and she might be sorry but i think it's just a publicity stunt just like a lot of these celebrities just to get their name out there Holy smoke, she's already made over $8 million off of YouTube. Yeah, she's set for life. She doesn't need to do YouTube, but guaranteed she'll definitely keep her channel up and she won't quit. Offend anyone. I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested in making anyone feel bad, in case you haven't noticed. But then she shows the video that she put private to offend people, and then she's going to show another video, which will surely offend some people out there. It's awful. It doesn't need to exist. It's inexcusable. It's not okay. I'm, I'm incredibly sorry if this offended you.
And that's where I got to call Jenna Marbles out. I told called total bull smack on that bull crap baloney because why would she even make a video showing the clips and then apologizing for it afterwards? It's just like literally like smacking somebody in the face and then being like, oh, sorry. Or be like, hey, sorry for smacking you in the face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's awful. It doesn't need to exist. Don't wing long, shake it, King Kong, ding dong. Don't wing long, shake it, King Kong, ding dong. It doesn't need to exist, but you still show it. That's the whole thing. Like, I don't understand. It's a publicity. Some people wake up like she's uh, coming out with these things on her own. Nobody even calls her out really on it. And now she's like showing it, apologizing, keeping it private. Oh my God. I'm going to delete YouTube, everyone. I'm going to delete YouTube. I'm quitting. And that's the thing is everyone's like, oh no, she's been bullied. She's been like, you know, everyone's been picking on her because of her videos that were racist and all this stuff. And now, now she's quitting. Uh, oh, poor Jenna Marble. She's, she's got like over $8 million. She's set for life. And, you know, oh, poor her. And like, <laughs> Like, she's not going to quit. This is just all publicity stunt. She, she she might be sorry about things, but I highly doubt it. It's just, she made the videos because she thought that they were funny or whatever reason she did them to become rich and famous. And it seems like that's the new publicity stunt. Maybe I should do blackface, get everybody all riled up about it, get my name all out there, get all these YouTubers to be like, ooh, Chad Sinclair did blackface, you know, he's a ginger or whatever. <laughs> and then, after that just come out later and be like oh I'm so sorry I, I'm, I'm my bad everyone I'm sorry it was just a joke it was very very bad bad tasteful disgusting joke I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend everyone here's the video of it I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't mean it it shouldn't exist but here's the video of it and um, you know I got really rich and famous off of it but I'm sorry but here's the video clip again and uh, I'm gonna quit so you know everyone's gonna be like oh no don't quit and then I'm just gonna leave everything up and then I'll be back anyway so it's just, it's just stupid in my mind it's just a publicity so I didn't like <laughs> people are falling for it like you know all these celebrities do it and now YouTube are doing it and it seems to work and it's just you know their fans are you know they get tricked into the illusion and other people fall for it but uh i don't fall for things like that i you know i just i look through people's bullshit jenna marbles shane dawson all these rich famous celebrities and even like youtubers that weren't rich or famous but now slowly became rich and famous are now using these stupid tactics that other rich famous people use and it's just it's just mind-blowing that they do these things like i could do them anybody can do them it's just not morally right tricking your fan base or your followers or your your, your viewers into thinking fake things or hoaxes or you know just doing stuff just to you know get like clout like like i said i could do blackface and all that and probably get a bunch of hate and po like negative and positive publicity out of it and you know and then like twist it around like all these other youtubers are doing but is that morally right is that the correct way of doing things no even if it is a joke like you know or if you're impersonating somebody like it's just the way things are going now and like it just blows my mind that instead of deleting the video, they put it private, <laughs> and it's just, just just delete it, get rid of it, or just like say, hey, yeah, I made that video. I'm sorry, that was just back in the day. I'm not that person anymore. And you know, like Shakespeare said, stuff happens, and you kind of learn from it. We're all human. We all make errors and mistakes. But when you're trying to get more publicity off of your mistakes, and you're not really trying to right your wrongs. <laughs> And you're trying to make more money or whatever off of it that's just in my mind totally wrong and just sick makes me sick to my stomach and that's what a lot of these youtubers do and it's just you know a lot of them are hypocrites too like pewdiepie is supporting her for doing black face and whatever and getting the black lash and saying that she's bullying from being you know youtube and all that but then he's one to talk he's he's dropped the n-word multiple times and you know like <laughs> it just blows my mind because they're, they're both hypocrites and they do it everybody does it for uh, the publicity seriously look at almost every famous rich celebrity out there and even youtube 
YouTubers that have blown up. There's so many controversial incidences. There's so many different cases. Like, like seriously, the ones that have made it big, known, and had their name blown up are the ones that have had a lot of incidences. And that's kind of weird. And that's that should be that's like wrong. Like you know, these people get famous for doing bad, wrong things, and then the ones that are like celebrities that don't do anything and don't get their names put into like the news or the tabloids or being blown up for doing bad legal or ill morally wrong things don't get famous and don't get really super rich and blown up because their names aren't being put out there in the paper constantly or the news because they're not doing bad things these are actually good celebrities good people and they should actually be promoted more and the people that are doing the wrong things you know they should be mentioned about it but then they get away with these things and that's what's wrong is like famous people rich and famous people get away with a lot of stuff they get a slap on the wrist where if you or i did that if we did any of these things, we would probably end up, like, our lives would be ruined. If anybody did what Shane Dawson did, their life would be ruined. But he ended up making a career off of this. A lot of these people make careers and stuff like that off of these things. And it just blows my mind because a lot of them are, like, they're they're celebrities, role models. And we just need to change the way things are. And judges need to start instead of giving them a slap on the wrist, giving them like maximum sentences and like proving to the rest of us that, you know, pr like making an example out of them. Because a lot of the times they make an example out of somebody on the streets that none of us even know. We don't even hear about it in the news. But then some rich person like Justin Bieber does something, he spits on his fans, which physically assaults them, and he gets nothing. They just literally just go, oh, it's all good. He just did it. It's in the news, gets even more rich and famous. But if I did that or somebody else worked a loogie off of the balcony on somebody, they're probably getting five years for assault. And they'd be like, yeah, we're going to make an example out of you. But Justin Bieber in the news doesn't get made out of an example. And that's what needs to change. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your love and support. Please click that like button as well as comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And you think this was a publicity stunt for Jenna Marbles? I honestly believe in my opinion and my thoughts that it was a publicity stunt a lot of these celebrities or youtubers that are even like close to being like super rich because she is like a, f a celebrity you know she's got like what 20 million s subscribers some celebrities that are like in movies don't even have nearly that amount which is hilarious some of these people don't even have like a hundred thousand followers that are in movies but then like you got jenna marbles and like i said she's got over 20 million subscribers so you know it's just it just blows my mind but yeah let me know in the thoughts the comments down below your thoughts and opinions do you think this was a publicity stunt do you think it wasn't do you think she's honestly sorry you know let me know your thoughts i'm actually curious and i think it's just a publicity stunt but yeah click this like button also click that subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone i really appreciate the love and support take care stay safe and god bless you all